In this edition of the Edgar Podcast, we talk to Matthew Jones, a golfer who has shown great resilience in the face of everything that life has thrown at him. His positive mindset has been built further through golf, indicating just how great this game can be for all of us. In his work as a travel rep and tour guide, helping holidaying customers to find the best bars, restaurants and fun activity, Matthew Jones would often be driving past golf courses and he never gave them a thought. Golf never crossed his mind in those days. And if COVID-19 hadn't torn the heart out of the tourism business, Matthew, or Matt as he's known to his friends, may still be out in Spain or somewhere else in the Mediterranean right now. Matt's curtailed tourism adventures and his later new passion of golf are certainly linked, even if he hit his first golf shots in rugby Warwickshire, England, during the pandemic. A first job he loved and a new sport he was enjoying boosted his innate feeling of positivity that he'd had since being young, which had helped him deal with certain knockbacks in his early life. As a person of short stature, Matt had done well to navigate all the potential pitfalls of school, becoming a fairly confident lad, only to be discouraged from pursuing his ambition of being an engineer because of his size, around health and safety worries, which may or may not have been relevant. So a friend encouraged him into the tourism profession and he thrived there, even gaining further resilience and determination as he learned to deal with the sometimes rude or arrogant tourists who could become very awkward to deal with after they'd had a lot to drink. But he came through all this smiling. This tough schooling added to the support he had always received from family and friends all helped create the confident 29-year-old we meet today. The way that I was brought up was, you know, give it a go. If you can't do it, we obviously know why. There is going to be restrictions. There is going to be limitations. And there is, you know, I'm not going to be able to do certain things. But I was never, you know, I never went out thinking, I can't do that. I can't do this. I'd give it a go. I went for it. And I'd, I'd do 100% it as well. Even if I couldn't do it, I'd still try. But I'd never let that get me down. I'd never let it bother me. Got an older brother growing up. We would do everything, play sports, you know around the house, mess around, you know, as you do as kids growing up, wrestle, fight. Even Matt's go-for-it mindset would be sorely tested with the arrival of COVID-19 in early 2020, causing him to lose the job he was enjoying so much, returning to the town of rugby and going through lockdown, which must have felt like the precise opposite of his hectic life in tourism. Looking for work, Matt stepped up to be a tester at his local COVID testing centre. His shift pattern meant he had chunks of time for leisure and with the Covid restrictions facing society at the time, golf was the first sport to reopen for business again. So Matt now sees the initiative. Covid being around and the rise in golf and the popularity of golf was massive. You know, I thought, let's, you know, what's, what am I missing out on here? Let's, let's give it a go. Never looked back, really. For the four days that I was off, I just picked up some golf clubs and went to the range and then obviously fell in love with it. And it's a new year. I've got taken it a bit more serious now. So I did my, my first Edgar events this year and I uh, was lucky enough to win the Stableford division on that. Matt had started by playing at the local driving range, having bought some kids clubs at a big sports retail outlet. Then he says he was lucky to meet PGA professional coach Zoe North, who gave him the very valuable formative lessons. He was then introduced to a club fitter and got sorted with some good ping clubs. He remains a loyalist to the brand, with all 14 clubs in the bag bearing the name of the famous manufacturer. When I first started, I bought some cheap children's clubs from Sports Direct and would just spend hours down the range and then got to meet people down the driving range that would then give me pointers and tips. And then I was lucky enough to get in with a a PGA coach at the range and she basically gave me a few lessons and I spent quite a lot of time with her and her partner did custom fit in for the golf clubs and we worked a lot with ping in talks with what we needed what we can use what what might work what might not work from the lessons that I was having I could see a massive improvement in myself and that was giving me confidence and you know the power of the will to do this let's do it properly and yeah so now i'm here 
I've struggled with sports in general over the years with my condition. You know, I can't go and play rugby. I've struggled to play football. But, you know, obviously some sports are just not put out for uh, someone with um, dwarfism. Whereas golf, you've got your handicap there to help you fit in with everyone and anyone. It makes it competitive, even though that I'm playing against someone that's, you know, twice, three times the size of me and it's it further than me. We can still have a round and we can still, you know, work, play together and it, it be competitive. And that, again, keeps me going and giving me the confidence and the, the determination to get that better. So the sport of golf has found its next complete convert. Matt eats, drinks and sleeps the game. Fast forward three years from that first shot and he jokes that if he's not sleeping or at work, you will find him on the golf course. Matt loves playing for the physical health benefits and the mental well-being it gives him. And he now loves competition, including signing up for his first Edgar event this June. Totally agree. Um, like you said, playing against yourself. With golf, obviously, some days are good and some days are not so good. And when you have a good day, you know, you know that the golf's there in the locker. And when you come home, the next thing you want to do, for myself personally, is I want to go out again And I've set that benchmark. I then want to progress and I want to, you know, beat that benchmark. And there's always going to be that, right, let's try this next time. Let's try that. Let's see if we can reach this. Let's see if we can do that. And like you said, like with golf, that is kind of against yourself. I've got my personal best long drive. And now I've done that. You know, I I know what it is. I'm working hard to try and beat that. You know, every every day is learning, every day is training. I always, like you say, just trying to beat and better yourself to be as best as you can be. Matt and his family came across Edgar quite recently and he was delighted to sign up for his first event in June. He said he loved meeting other golfers with disability and comparing notes at Thonop Park and was impressed with the Edgar ethos of helping golfers with disability into golf whether they're samplers trying the game for the first time, participants playing more regularly, or looking to push themselves as hard as they can competitively. As Matt says, contact sports like rugby and football don't suit him, but golf, with its marriage between the physical skill element and the mental process involved, he finds hugely absorbing and satisfying. Matt has seen with his own eyes other golfers of short stature who have played in Edgar events and are playing brilliant golf, and he wanted to join in to see how far he could go and reach his own potential. So back in June 2023, Matt was looking out at the 6,484-yard course at Thonock Park, Lincolnshire, for his first Edgar event, and he said the size of the course didn't faze him. He is used to the challenge. Distance is a factor for him because of his size, but he is getting steadily longer in his shots, and he is pleased with his accuracy off the tee. He wanted to thank his friend Toby, who was caddying for Matt during the tournament, and who has given him coaching and encouraged him to keep achieving. But away from the actual golf itself, there is a confidence in Matt, which must be a great credit to those who raised him. A supportive family can be so important, and Dad Mark, a retired project manager, Mum Amanda, a former dental nurse, and his older brother Chris have clearly been superb in giving him self-belief but also the space to find his own identity. I was never treated differently for the fact that I've got short stature. I was just, you know, I'm Matt, Matthew. And a lot of my mates also were the same with that. I was one of the boys, one of the lads. We'd go out and do things. Even if I couldn't do them sometimes, it wasn't, you know, it, it, it happened. Obviously it does, but it never got me down. Yeah, I think I just, I cracked on and just got on with it and, that's it, you know, you've got to live with it, so why not just deal with it? Your older brothers, you, you bicker and you argue and you fight and that, but, you know, he, he's looked after me from time to time and he's never treated me and he's always, you know, got me involved, even with his child school friends. You know, if they were around, we'd kick a ball and do as much as we can and have, a, have good fun. And that's, I think that's, again, going back, is the main thing is enjoying it, having a smile on my face and enjoying it, even though I couldn't, do a lot of these things, I was still happy to be a part of the group of people doing these activities, doing this stuff. And likewise with my mates, they always got me involved. They always made me feel welcome. And, you know, I, again, I enjoyed it. I was happy. And that reflects on probably the person that I am now. And, you know, let's give it a go. 
This supportive background meant that he could brush off his early disappointment around the job of engineering, and he would come back stronger. Matt loved being a travel rep. The summers were long and the work was hard, but it was also great fun. It was great for his personal development, starting the job in his early 20s and learning to work with so many different kinds of people and exploring new local cultures at the same time. When out of season, Matt and his friends further broadened the mind through travel, including trips to Southeast Asia and driving the West Coast Highway in the United States. Turn the page and Matt has recently got an impressive new job as well, taking his interest in engineering into the water industry. Matt works for a German company based in Warwickshire, which is involved in the analysis, measurements and control of water supply. He still plays golf in the evenings whenever possible and at weekends, and he hopes to play more Edgar events when he gets time off next year. Meanwhile, his good habit of choosing friends well has continued, and Matt has found plenty of them as a member at Rugby Golf Club, which is fast becoming a home from home for him. 100% rugby golf club itself has got a very good social side to it which again is giving me loads of confidence and so the fact that I can go and play a round of golf and I can go and sit in the clubhouse after and you know talk and have a chat with all the guys and girls um, and get along with them as as if anything's nothing's different and the fact that when you get to know them people then they start inviting you out to play golf with them it's not as if I'm having to play golf with the same person every time because he's my mate I can go out and play with the boys the lads the girls you know I get to mix which is great we watched Matt first swing the club at Ping's Thunnock Park facility in Lincolnshire where 16 Edgar players took advantage of complimentary club fitting sessions thanks to expert support from Ping technicians including golfers who play from a para golfer Matt worked with ping technician Paul Reimer and both men were very pleased with improvement in his shot dispersion during the session. You could see that Matt has developed a good swing and at the time he was playing off a 22 handicap which, after winning the Stableford category of the ping open that week, has come down now to 19.5. It was a well-deserved win for Matt and was well received by the other players. He had been very consistent tee to green for both days. The applause which rang out when Matt went to pick up his trophy showed him that he was now part of the Edgar group, which is known for its encouraging and social aspect. While Matt will tell you that he practised as hard as anyone to do well, he wanted to thank his early coach Zoe North for her significant help in forming his swing. She was giving me my lessons and she was teaching me the kind of the do's and don'ts and the pointing in that way. And then obviously a big thank you to Ping to actually say, yes, we'll help you, you know, try this. They made it work, basically, so big thank you to that. The head pro at rugby, which is David. I think the main thing is that I can do it. I've tried a lot of things in the past and I've struggled. Didn't bother me. Happy days, whatever, let's move on. But golf, I got it. You know, it puts a smile on my face when I've got a golf club in my hand I love the outdoors anyway. So being out on, a, you know, playing golf. Again, a very popular guy. So the social side, you know, it's, I love mixing with new people and making memories. I, I, you know, go, don't just play rugby every day. I go throughout, out around the, on the weekends, go to different courses to do a bit of travelling out of it, which, yeah, I think just mm. at the end of the day, I'm happy to be out on a golf course with a smile on my face, so if I'm enjoying it, I'm going to keep doing it. Matt's enthusiasm for the game is infectious, and he puts a lot of thought into what he's doing on the course. His enjoyment of the analysis of the swing was obvious when he was talking to the ping technician Paul Reimer. This was a very thoughtful conversation that was clearly appreciated by both technician and his customer. When we spoke, Matt's clear target was to try and get down to an 18 handicap, perhaps this summer. And if he keeps focus and can keep playing regularly, it's his real hope that one day he might get into single figures. But Matt says it doesn't really matter what level you play at. He thinks golf is just a fantastic game. And he thinks that the benefits of the game, from a health and social perspective, are brilliant for anyone with a disability who can play. I mean, I think some people, you look at it and kind of already say, "Mm, I'm not too sure about that. 
I think you need to just give it a go. Like I started, I just picked up some kids' clubs. You, a lot of driving ranges and golf courses now, you can go and give it a go. Um, and you will be surprised, you know, just the fresh air, focusing on a little white ball is actually incredibly, it silences everything else out that's going on in the world. I've had a bad day at work one day and I've gone to the driving range and I've focused on that white ball, golf ball and it's it a few times and, it's, you know, I feel better for it. It's, it's good and it puts a smile on my face. So I think, you know, if you guys wanted to do that and give it a go uh, and I'm pretty sure, you know, that you'll meet new people whilst you're there and it will open a whole new world and, you know, the different thoughts of of golf itself. With Matt's game improving and his job going well, thoughts inevitably turn to his future golf. He is eager to play more Edgar tournaments. Matt has played Le Golf National in Paris and targets other Ryder Cup venues. But he's perfectly placed to try his golf in regions he knows like Spain, USA and Thailand. Wherever he chooses to play, he'll have a friend living nearby to meet up with for a beer or two. And he will be spreading the word internationally about just how inclusive a sport golf can be. This Edgar podcast was written and narrated by Ben Evans and the sound production was by Martin Maynard of Sounds Good. You can find more stories of people with a disability thriving through golf in the profiles section of the Edgar website at edgargolf.com and you can contact members of our team through the website.